Hi friends, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Welcome to December and my first attempt at doing Vlogmas. I started off my day with a huge cup of coffee to make sure that I can stay up late and edit this for you guys since I'm definitely an early to bed type of person. Um, I actually ordered all of this delicious coffee from Bones Coffee recently. It's a bunch of Christmas coffee samplers. Today I had the white chocolate peppermint bark which was really delicious and festive. Once my coffee was done, I went up to my office and watched the first day of the Bakery Bears advent calendar. Really excited about that and also did some knitting on my holiday doodle cowl before starting work for the day. Um, I know I said that I like to be in bed relatively early so I can do things like read and <laughs> actually sleep, um, but I also like to wake up early just to get some knitting done before basically yelling at people all day long. Where's one? A helicopter. <laughs> There's a snowmobile. It has propellers. Of course, the moment I've been waiting for for months now is being able to open all of my crafty advent calendars, starting with this gorgeous yarn from Ruby and Rose's Yarn. She, she seriously makes some beautiful colorways, highly would recommend her. I do have some other full size skeins, but I, I wanted to try her advent calendar this year because I knew I really liked them and was excited to see what she would include. The next advent calendar I opened was this year's Disney Princess advent from Yarn Cafe Creations. This is actually, well, last year's is actually what I'm knitting my holiday doodle cowl out of. So I can always use some Disney Princess sparkles in my life. Finally, for something new, I decided to get this Caterpillar cross stitch advent calendar where we got these adorable Christmas themed floss drops. Okay, Fritzy, you're gonna get day number one. Yeah, I can open it. Fix you. Yeah. He already knows what's in there, I can tell. I see it in the drool oh, on his face. Looks like a nutter butter with Ooh. bacon wrap on it. Ooh, what do you think, Fritzy? Do you approve? Seal of approval? Well, I don't know, he spit it back out. He's missing his front teeth, so he probably has to figure out how to really get it in there. This whole video is just Fritzy's butt. Nice. Yeah. Seems to like it, he's eating it. So I would say about six days a week, I'm doing something on the Peloton. Um, I do something called a power hour, which is strength training, but then the rest of the time, um, four to five days a week, I'm doing power zone training, which is really cool for me because you take a test at the beginning and end of each of the challenges to identify where you are, and then each of the rides are catered to your output. Um, I'm able to access that on uh, pzpack.com, which is what you're looking at right now. And basically what you do is you go in and you log your rides. You can take a look at your charts, which is what you see here. The blue lines are where you're supposed to be and the little black lines are where I was. So I did pretty well on this one. I was overshooting my zones by a little bit, like basically riding at the top of my zones, which isn't bad. Um, it's not you know, terrible to do that, especially as you get more comfortable in your zones, just means like that maybe your zones will improve. Um, and then you can also compare to previous rides. So I just took this ride a few weeks ago before the latest challenge and I'm about the, the same, it looks like. So not too shabby if you ask me, can't really complain about that. Um, but if you go over and look at all of the different challenges, you can actually log in and see what rides you have left for the week. And here you can see I have, I think it's three rides left for the week. Sometimes you get options about which ride that you do. And um, yeah, looking forward to getting those done um, before Sunday. So I'm about to head into my 
daily meeting marathons for the afternoon, but this topic came up with some of my coworkers and it's come up um, in podcasts before. I know specifically when I interviewed with the Bakery Bears um, a little bit ago about like what I actually <laughs> do. Um, and so we're in marketing operations and a lot of people think that means we do marketing or that I'm in marketing and I'm not. Um, I'm on like the IT side of marketing. So I deal more with like the technology processes, automation, making sure that all of the data is feeding into reports correctly so that we can tie um, marketing efforts to revenue. I think it's almost a rule that most marketing operations people dislike actual marketing, at least with a lot of the people that I that I talk to, um, just because it can get really fluffy. And no offense to anyone who d does marketing for a living, but like my experience has been like a lot of people have great ideas and no matter how many reports you give them saying that that idea is not great and it's not working, they will um, kind of beat you into submission, I guess. Um, so yeah, that is what I do. Um, I work for a fairly large company. It's a billion dollar-ish cybersecurity company. And I do, I really like my job, but I'm not in marketing. Here we go. All right. Day number one. What's it gonna be? Day number one. What's it gonna be? Day number one is extra tickle. What is so, it? Double dry hopped IPA. Uh-huh. It's one of their signatures, uh, Latte. Uh -huh. Well. Taste test this. Add it in there. I heart the holidays glass. Mm. I like that glass a lot, actually. Thoughts? Thumbs up. Yeah? Yeah. It tastes one, like. This is one I've had before. It's good. It's hazy. It's juicy. Tropical. Ooh. All the good stuff. One of my want. favorites, yeah. Because yeah. I'm basic. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. like you. <laughs> Not to be outdone, I also needed a beer tonight because it is New Brew Thursday over on Untapped. So I got this Dogfish Head Patagonia Provisions, which is a pills. After dinner, because I am the best wife ever, if I do say so myself, I forced Scott to put together these polar bear Legos because I need to finish decorating this weekend. They came out really cute. Um, not sure where I'm going to put these guys yet. Probably somewhere in front of our new TV. But yeah, really like them. While he busied himself with that, I sat down to work on my All Is Bright um, Caterpillar cross stitch. Cross stitch! Um, I actually had to rip out a bunch of this last night because I was over one column too far, so I had to rip back, and that was sad. But now I'm caught up and then some and have actually started on the Christmas lights, so I think I'll be able to finish this, um, if not by the weekend, but over the weekend, and share the final piece with you soon. Finally, we have my last advent of the day, or at least the last advent that I'm opening here. I do still have some self-striping advents that I haven't opened yet that I haven't shown you, but this is one that I've really been looking forward to. It's my tea advent from David's Tea. Today's flavor was cranberry ginger ale, and I gotta tell you, it was really tasty. It is loose leaf tea, so you need one of these strainer situations. Um, I have quite a few at this point. Really like this one. And yeah, that, that's all you need to get going. In case you're curious, this is what it looked like. It had a pinkish tint and tasted delicious. With that, it is starting to get a little bit late, so I'm going to leave you here and eventually go to bed and maybe read a little bit. Um, so enjoy this video of my little void Mowgli giving himself a bath, and I will see you all tomorrow for day two.